When you first started writing your book, did you throw away your first draft? Actually, I did. Yeah, I did. Um, I just didn't. I didn't. I didn't see myself as a a, a writer. Um, so I didn't. I didn't. I didn't really. I didn't really know what. Like if if it was gonna resonate with people, you know, it, it was. I mean, just si simply because you know, now that I look back on it in retrospect, I definitely think it was one of those things where it was unfamiliar territory and uh, something new. So I'm, I'm it, so in my mind, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I didn't have the total confidence <clears throat> as a writer to think that people would actually be engaged in what I was doing. You know, I, I think I, well, I threw away like the first 10 or pages or something like that I had wrote. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I, you know, I went back and, and resumed. You know, it, it's just, I, I, I think it was um, one of those experiences that, that, as we talked about before, where a person where I had I had to get over that hurdle of of believing that you know that I could actually tell a story and it would be engaging and things of that nature. Do you think you were almost writing a letter to yourself? Hmm. Or was it it was it to share what you'd been through, your knowledge? That definitely. Um, I think that more than anything, it was it was me me looking to illustrate stories that are real, realistic stories um, from a from a from a place um, that not too many people in this industry know about. You know, um, and I think that that it was my passion for that was <clears throat> was to be able to speak speak to the masses about things that I felt were very necessary. And when I say that, I mean that you know a lot of times um, society looks at people in these environments, you know, ghettos or what have you, inner cities, and a lot of those neighborhoods and, you know, people in these situations are written off just because of lack of understanding. So I think that it's, 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 it's a responsibility, you know, of, of anybody who's in position to be able to illustrate that in a way where it can be respect, excuse me, illustrated in a way where it's, it's tasteful enough and strong enough for, um, for other people to understand why people um, are in those situations. And that's why, you know, um, I named um, my first movie Circumstances. So the book was called Motivation, and I named the movie Circumstances because I feel like all of the young people in that situation were in a circumstance that they were trying to get out of. And they didn't necessarily know how to do it, right? They were just going about their day and their lives trying to figure things out as most people who are in um, rough circumstances do, right? So no one really knows what they would do if their back was up against the wall to a point to where you're trying to figure out how to get out of, an, out of an environment where it's gun violence, drug addiction, um, poverty, 
you know, there's anything that you can think of. Like what what would any what what would somebody who grew up in Malibu, how would they thrive in that environment? What would what would if they were put in those situations and they had those circumstances um impressed upon them, <clears throat> how would you survive? What would you do? So again, you know, and I and I'm and I'm and I'm not saying any of this to try to make um <clears throat> you know put any justification or anything or any glorification or anything. I'm just merely again illustrating uh what happens, right? And you know, and 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 and, and um I think that a person who's logical would be able to look at that and say, okay, well, um, maybe it is something here that can be examined, right? Versus just constantly looking at people in these situations and just writing them off. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to illustrate stories, you know, the same way Nas did with his music the same way a lot of um, hip hop artists do with their movies, I mean their music. What they do is, you know, a lot of hip hop artists, they, 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 they illustrate what's going on in these environments. And, you know, what else was I supposed to be able to, what else was I um, gonna talk about if this is what I, if this is what I come from, right? You have to be true to who you are. I mean, I can't, I can't, I couldn't write a story about growing up in um, Sherman Oaks <laughs> or growing up in um, some suburban neighborhood because that's not my background and I wouldn't have been true to myself. Um, I mean, if I tried to create something and it was from a place of me using it as a testimony, right? So, so I think that that was more of, it was more of my testimony and also it was more of, of me just looking to illustrate a good story. What do you think about people who maybe came from Malibu, who they identify and almost want to emulate a harder situation. Now, I saw that a lot in the Bay Area. I grew mm -hmm. up around a very diverse group of people. Some did come from money, some came from poverty. And I would see these people that I know that they, there was no problem money-wise, but mm -hmm. they almost identified more with some of, some of the, the, the sort of, you know, different cultures that they didn't come from, but they mm -hmm. wanted to be that. What, what is, that's very interesting to me. Well, I think that America loves a good, um, villain. I think America loves villains. I mean, from, <clears throat> I mean, what what is it? What's the fascination with Al Capone? What's the fascination with John Gotti? What's the fascination with, you know, a a, a lot of these people who, you know, who did illicit things to get ahead? I think that. Somebody in Malibu or any other suburb or, you know, wherever they come from, somebody who doesn't come from that and they identify with that, I think it's just, it's just, it's probably exhilarating for them, you know, because it's, 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 it's picture your life the way that you picture it every day, right? And however that might be, everybody likes a little excitement every now and then. <laughs> you know, and um, some people, they take it too far. You know, like, I, I, I honestly feel like, um, you know, just me looking at Tupac and all of the stuff that he went through in his life. And, you know, Tupac, he started to try to live the stuff that he was talking about in his music. You know, the, the, he, 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 he went to... At the School of the Arts, he had a very intelligent mother 
in regards to what she was going through with drug addiction and whatnot, they instilled some good qualities in him, but he got caught up in a lifestyle, you know? And I think that, that that's a very dangerous situation when you are um, looking up to something that you shouldn't necessarily be looking up to to a point to where you're going beyond entertainment, right? You look at a lot of these kids now, they listen to rap music, and one of the problems that a lot of people have had with rap music since the beginning is the fact that they feel as though it drives the youth to do all of the things that these rappers talk about in the music, right? And one can say a lot of times that they're, that they're right, but the problem with that is um, none of these artists are setting out to try to create these young people, uh, turn these young people into criminals and stuff like that. They just, they're just speaking from where they come from, right? So I think that um, with, you know, with entertainment in general, you know, it's, it's with film, movies, any level of entertainment, I think that, that an impressionable mind needs to have someone there to guide them, to get them to understand that this is just entertainment, right? Um, and that's with any movie because, okay, my films are no different than films like Heat, um, Goodfellas, like I said, um, The Godfather, um, you know, and these are American, uh, they, they, those are American history stories, right? So I think that that it's important that um, that these people who are consuming all of this content, that they understand that this is just entertainment. I like what you said about boredom. I think that's interesting. Yeah, I mean, I I I really think that's a big thing. I mean, it's, and I don't I don't think that. <clears throat> um, I think that we all like excitement at some, you know, point in our lives. You know, when when you're going about life and it's a certain way and, and it's everything is just this is what it is and it's monotone, whether it's monotone or what, whatever it is, you know, everybody enjoys a good ride every now and then. <laughs> sure. You know?